Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. Looks like he's taking a shot at his teammate over there. Makes his way back over here towards the middle. Uh, it wasn't really that much damage. Uh, wait, did he hit him for four? I don't actually know if he actually connected with a shot. Either way, he hit a pretty dirty shot there in middle. And maybe that could be why it was reported. He spots one guy coming up middle, takes a shot. Not quite able to connect. Flicks are a little bit short on both of those. And, well, he's going to go down. Either way, so far, it looks like this guy is completely legitimate, and that's mainly what we're looking for. Griefing would also be a charge. He did take a shot at his teammate, and if he hit him, he hit him for four. But didn't continue, so... Love tap, maybe? Either way, he is taking some shots during middle. He spots that guy through the smoke. He is able to take down Flamingo. Checking up here, towards window room. Let's see if he's going to push in. Checks the stairs. No one pushing up those right now. One guy is posted up in middle. And he's going to come out window room and see if he can flank maybe. Looks like he doesn't actually know he's there. Checked over towards middle, but he didn't spot him out. The guy pushing up middle actually went past his point of view at this point. So he's going to re-peek and he's not going to see him. He's going to get caught off guard by this guy if he decides to push out. He is trying to push out. Gets shot. Oh, and he hits a really nice quick scope onto Cyclone. Alright, so that leaves two terrorists still alive. He's going to be rotating over with his teammate. It looks like Puffin. He's going to be going up Banana. Puffin's going in first. Spots out Shark. He's able to take him down. His teammate goes down and he also takes down the second terrorist there. Alright guys, on to the second half. First half, 11 to 4. That's a pretty solid first half as a CT. And he does have 19 kills, the most in the server it looks like. But so far he does seem to be completely legitimate. It actually seems to be a bit of a lower ranked game. Takes some shots at Cyclone. He does dink him, not quite able to finish him off. Looks like he's going to be making his way back over here towards middle, because where else is he going to go? He's a terrorist and he's got to get across, so he can only go alt mid or mid, right? Either way, flashbang goes up middle. Guy's attacking his teammates. His teammates were actually able to take down one, but then they traded by killing each other. <laughs> Alright, he's able to spam down Flamingo. He's got 13 HP. One guy is over here at Banana, that'd be Shark. Taking some spam shots at the corner in case someone decides to peek out. And he's going to be making his way over here towards the A site. Looks like he jumps into window room. Sparrow is over there by library. Pushing out. See if he spots him. No, he doesn't. And he thinks it's clear. He's going to start planning. His teammate is covering, though. Able to take down Sparrow, but the flank is coming. And he gets into the site right before he sees the last CT. Odd positioning unless he knew exactly where that guy's going to be coming from or he figured that the guy was going to be rapping. Either way, great timing on getting into the site, but he does go down. Maybe walls, but so far just nowhere near enough evidence for me to say that I'm going to convict him of that. It was just a little bit strange the timing of him deciding to and where he decided to play. Those two things combined. Alright, so he's going to be pushing his way over here through halls. Sparrow is down on those stairs, he spots him out, takes a shot, his teammate's able to finish him off. Ooh, nice one dig onto Shark here at the end of the hallway. One more guy in sight, looks like he got caught off guard at first by him, but he was able to take some shots at him, not quite able to connect though, and he's going to go down. Peeking towards middle. Holding a very, very sharp angle on that, so the only way I think he'd be able to hit that is if someone peeked it out pretty short. Either way, one guy over here, Banana, he did, he does spot him out, but Puffin's going to get the kill onto him. And he's going to start pushing his way in. He checks over there by Coffins, doesn't spot anyone out. Oh! Oh! Insane. Insane. Instant report. Instant report right there, guys. Wow. Alright, that's what he was reported for, but again, I can't say that that's him walling, but that was an insane, lucky, random shot, that's for sure. Watching right side of middle, seeing if anyone decides to push. Looks like Flamingo is over here to the right, making his way through construction. Suspect's checking towards site. I haven't spotted anyone out yet, but he is going to be flanking over here. He hears the shots going on, so he knows for a fact that there's a guy construction right now. 
teammate was able to take him down, though. Now he's checking towards spawn. Let's look at it. Again, there are moments where it feels like his awareness is on the verge of, is he walling? Because of where he's pointing his crosshair. Either way, he is looking over to the left, looking over to the right. He's not looking at the wall, which is a good sign that he's not walling. But he's going to check over here towards the library. Then spawn, he went out. Looking over there to the right. Makes his way into library. Or actually right outside of it, in case anyone decides to rotate through. Good positioning. He should be able to catch people off guard. He's going to have to go for the no-scope, though, if the guy comes up close. Should be able to hit it at that range. Peeking everything, taking everything very slowly, looking meticulously around the bomb site, trying to see if he can find this guy and finish him off. He takes a spam shot over towards Graveyard, not quite able to spot him out, and looks towards Pit. Probably going to spam Pit. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope, he checks it. Yeah, he takes a spam shot. Okay. That looks all pretty legitimate to me. 15 to 5. Gonna be making his way over here towards middle. He's watching that really tight angle again to see if anyone decides to cross over. They've all actually crossed in sight. They're all actually playing on the right side, which is a little bit different. So they stacked someone up, maybe? Nope. Wait, did they? No, they didn't. One up close, right side in the smoke. Shark's there. He's gonna take a spam shot, but he doesn't quite connect. Checks over towards library, looking over to the left here. One guy is rotating, but he doesn't hold it long enough to actually catch him. Spots out this guy over at Balcony, he's able to take him down. His teammate's gonna take down Cyclone coming from CT spawn. And now he's shooting his teammate. Hmm, that could be a griefing call. That could be a griefing call. Do we want to call it? It is last round. It's last round, and his teammates are all kind of shooting at each other. Maybe they're kind of celebrating, maybe he's just being silly, maybe he actually knows them. Maybe he was reported for it. If he was, it was a little bit petty in my opinion, just because uh, with the score being 15 to 5, one guy left now. Still got his teammate inside. His teammate's gonna die though. He's in a 1v1. Now this might be extended to another round, but again, because they do have so many, I don't really feel like they're really in any fear of losing this game. Um, so it really comes down to, I guess, the Overwatcher in general. Uh, Mater description, aim assistance. I'm gonna go with insufficient evidence here. He hit some nice shots here and there, but overall he was inconsistent. Didn't look like any kind of aim toggle to me either. So, uh, like no silent aim, no aim locks, nothing like that that I could see. So next up we got Major Disruption Vision Assistance. That would be insufficient evidence there as well. He did hit a really nice shot through a smoke, but other than that, I can't say that he did anything too suspicious. Major Disruption Other External Assistance. at speed hacks, automated jumping strips, and upside down views. Do we see anything like that? No. The answer is insufficient evidence here as well. And then finally, Minor Disruption Griefing, that's really the only thing that could be called on this. He did do some griefing, but I don't actually think that what he did was worth the ban. It was on the last round mainly. I think he tapped someone earlier. I don't know if that shot actually connected, but if it did, it connected for very low damage, and maybe he was a friend of his, or maybe he was someone that he knows and hates. I don't actually know what the situation was behind that. I know he did get reported, and I think he could have either been reported for that uh, shot in middle, the shot through the smoke, those can make people feel a little bit shady, or maybe he was reported for griefing. Either way, I'm going to let this guy get away with it this time because, again, the griefing was not on anything uh, too major. It was halfway through the round, but they had that all wrapped up by that point. It was last round. Insufficient evidence, I'm going to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, have a great day.